Hello, everyone. What an honor for me to be part of your online worship service today. And I hope uh, you and your family, they are safe uh, and they are uh, protected because of uh, our prayers and because of God's faithfulness. Papasalamat okay, Pastor JC. Pastor JC, thank you for this privilege of sharing God's Word in your behalf uh, alam niyo po nagpapahinga si Pastor JC galing sa pahinga yan for the past two, three days. And uh, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, he's cool and relaxed. Uh, talaga fresh na fresh, di ba, Pastor JC? And we just want to honor you, Pastor JC, for your leadership, your heart for God's people. You are truly a pastor. Uh, shout out naman tayo kay Pastor JC Jan, okay? And uh, maraming salamat, Pastor JC, uh, for leading this congregation. And so we salute you, and uh, if you're watching this uh, online worship service, please do pray for your pastors. Pray for them every single day. Pray for Pastor JC, his wife Gail, and their daughter, and uh, pray for the whole congregation here in Victory uh, Pioneer Estancia. So marami po salamat. And as we always say here, uh, we are just one church in Victory. We're here to honor God. And we're here to make disciples. So thank you. Pastor Jason did a wonderful job sharing God's word last last time, all right, last service, regarding the amazing love of God. That uh, God's love is, wow, there's something about God's love that we can't understand. All right, no matter what your situation is, God's love will never change. He's unchanging, okay? His love for you remains, and why? Because He's faithful. And so we want to continue on sharing uh, this series called Gospel Explained, and we're going to move on to the next three chapters, Romans chapter 9, 10, and 11, but we just want to give you some uh, snippets of God's Word as we progress this preaching. Amen? Let me read to you Romans chapter 9. Verses 14 to 18. Here's what it says. What shall we say then? Is there injustice on God's part? By no means. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy. I will have compassion whom I have compassion. So then it depends not on human will or exertion, but on God who has mercy. For the scripture says to Pharaoh, For this very purpose I have raised you up, that I might show my power in you, that you, that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. So then he has mercy on whomever he wills, and he hardens whomever he wills. This is the word of the Lord for all of us and for the rest of the week. Let's pray. Panginoon, marami po salamat sa Itong online worship service namin ngayon, we pray that you would anoint the preaching of your word. You will grip our hearts once again, just like last time, Lord, when we talk about the love of God. And Lord, I pray that you will continue to amaze your people based on your attribute, your nature, your character. We commit this time through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The text that we read... 12 times, 12 times po, doon sa binasa natin katina, refers to God Himself, when 6 out of 12 refers to what He said, I. The next ones, the next 6 refers to who He is, that he, His will, or He wills, His power, His name, and so on and so forth, that it describes who God is as God who is sovereign. The Lord wants to let us know, if you're part of this worship service, that the God of this universe, the God of all the earth, the God of our nation, the God of our church, the God who saved you, the God of your family and our personal God is a God who is sovereign. He is con in control. He has the power. He rules with such might. And there's no telling and stopping to what God wants to fulfill based on who He is 
as the God who is sovereign. Can you say amen? In fact, the word sovereign, the meaning of this, it means all authority, all power, the one who rule and reign with might, the one in control above and beyond. And everything is based on his purpose, the way he wants things to happen, he, he what he desires, his will, and what he wants. Sabi po dito sa verse 17 of binasa natin, For the scripture says to Pharaoh, For this very purpose I have raised you up, that I might show my power in you, that my name will be proclaimed in all the earth. So then he has mercy on whomever he wills, and he hardens whomever he wills. Everything happens in this world because God allows it. Wala pong mangyayari dito sa mundo kung hindi po yalaw ni Lord. Well, Pastor Mark, ito pag pandemic, galing ba kay Lord yan? Inalaw po ni Lord yan. Alam nyo, kung titignan po natin history natin, there's so many times where there was pandemic, there were so many times there were chaos, disasters, that ever happened, but still, God is in control at hindi ho siya nagbabago. Magbago man lang po yung uh, kinaroroonan natin. Magbago po yung kondisyon natin. Pero si Lord hindi nagbabago. He is in control and sovereign. And He wants to let you know that all His plans and purpose will prevail in accordance to what He choose to happen. God can even use someone who's evil like Pharaoh, like Nebuchadnezzar, Nero. Even in history, God is the author of history. History is his story. At hindi po nagbabago kung makikita po natin, Lord, para ang dami ng, ang dami ng kasamaan dito sa mundo. Alam mo, miski marad, inalaw pa rin ni Lord yan. Hindi pa rin, si Lord secure pa rin. Hindi po siya nababahala dahil si Lord sovereign. The Lord is in control. And looking at this pandemic today, guess what? Kung sa totoo lang, kung si Lord hindi in control, dapat lahat po tayo patay na. Imagine this virus na hindi po natin nakikita. Sa totoo lang, dapat, di ba, hindi lang yung ilang, may one million na ba na matay, baka more than pa kung hindi in control si Lord. Baka dito sa victory, wala hong, wala hong matira. Pero si Lord in control eh. He's the God of this church. Amen? He's the God who is sovereign and He loves you and He will take care of you and God is up to something and He will do His purpose what He wills in our lifetime. Can you say Amen? What a privilege to be alive in this generation. What a privilege to be alive in this pandemic. Even though in this pandemic, meron po tayong uh, pinagdadaanan, pero si Lord sovereign pa rin. The scripture, the scripture that we just read, do you realize that we can discover, we can discover how God demonstrated His sovereignty over mankind. And I'd like to share it with us today. The sovereignty and the hand of God over mankind. Number one, God in His sovereignty displayed His mercy and grant salvation to those He wills. God in His sovereignty displayed His mercy and grant salvation to those He wills. God is the God who saves. God is a God who is the author of salvation. God is the God of salvation. God has the power to save lives and He will do it based on His desire, His will, what He wants, and it's based on His will. The Hebrew word for salvation is Yeshua, means deeds of deliverance, deliver, and helper. The word Yeshua means refers to a person. Kaya si Lord po, si Jesus, Savior siya. Si God po mismo, deliverer siya. It refers to the person of God Himself. That's the Hebrew word. The Greek word, in the other hand, for salvation, is soteria. means welfare, prosperity, deliverance, preservation, salvation and safety. Salvation is God's re- rescue by which He delivers people out of destruction and, to in, and into His safety. Alam nyo si Lord Salvation po natin ngayong pandemic. Kung si Lord hindi natin salvation, dapat lahat tayo patay na. Lahat siguro tayo nasa hospital na. Dapat lahat tayo may COVID-19. Pero dahil salvation po natin siya, we are still safe, isn't it? God is still providing for our needs. He is faithful. He's, 
Yes, He's just, but He's a loving God. And yet, God is a God of salvation. And this salvation, He wants to extend it, extend it to us, not just physically, but He wants to extend it to us spiritually, that He wants to give you the life called eternal life. Salvation is a work of God through Christ. Nobody will be ever, no one will ever be saved. Wala hong maliligtas apart from God, apart from the work of Christ. And it's only in Christ that people will be saved and salvation belongs to our God. Guess what? God intervenes because of His sovereignty. God intervenes in our lives and He chose and granted us salvation. Alam niyo po ba yun? Si Lord nag-intervene po. Si Lord pumasok po sa buhay natin. Ang tigas ng ulo natin, hindi natin siya pinapansin, pero pumasok si Lord. Dahil gusto niya ipakita sa atin yung nature niya, yung character niya, yung pagmamahal niya sa atin. Pero in this particular verse that we read, He wants to show us and amaze us and really for us to be astounded by His mercy. Everybody say mercy. Sabi ng Bible, He will have mercy on whom He chooses to have mercy. Maraming pong salamat, Lord. Grabe. Pinili po tayo ni Lord para tumanggap ng kanyang uh, yung, yung awa na sinasabi, yung mercy. And we want to highlight this one today. The word mercy is defined as what? It's defined as when you don't get what you deserve. Hindi mo daw yung makakamit o yung yung something that you deserve. Ano ba yung dapat nating ma-receive na hindi natin di ba deserving? Hindi po ba yun yung punishment? Hindi ba yung suffering? Sa totoo lang, nagsasuffer tayo as Christians, pero ano pa kaya pag hindi tayo Christian, o pag hindi tayo follower ni Christ, hindi tayo disciple, hindi po ba? God is full of mercy. And He has shown and grant us mercy instead of His wrath, instead of His judgment. And He chose us. He chose. He chose in you and I. He made us a choice. His will is for you and I to be saved. And Lord, what a privilege that you withhold your judgment and I receive mercy that, Lord, I don't deserve. Hindi po natin deserving to yung mercy ni Lord, pero grabe yung pagmamahal at yung awa na Panginoon and extend po niya sa atin ito. God has shown us both wrath and mercy on the earth. But true enough, God's mercy outshines His wrath. Why? Because the scripture says, mercy triumphs over judgment. Grabe, miski may judgment, yung pagiging just the Lord, pero ang nagwagi po yung kanyang awa sa atin. His mercy triumphs over judgment. And God chose to have mercy on us sinners. And that's why He has given us the gift, the great salvation that all of us, all of us know that we don't deserve. You know, I heard the gospel when I was the age 15 in USD high school. Pahu ako nun. Hindi ko na sasabihin ko anong year. <laughs> I was, I was what? Third year, third year high school when I first heard the gospel. And I gave my life to Christ. But after being in church for six months, parehong po church, victory po, okay, nung time na po, uh, maliit pa lang yung church noon, kasi campus ministry po tayo, na-reach out po ako. And so nangyari po, I gave my life to Christ. But after six months, nag-backslide po ako. Grabe yung pagba-backslide ko, it took me three years of wandering away kay God. It took me those three years where I was living for myself, kasi nga, ang bottom line po, may ka-relationship po ako, hindi ko kaya, Talaga na ako bigla ko niya para I was living in a relationship. Pwede naman eh pero yun na nga kasi nga naintindihan ko kung paano ibigay yung yung buong buhok kay Lord tapos hindi ko magawa. Kasi nga di ba parang nagko-compromise ako. So nag-backslide po ako. So it took three years that the Lord has convicted me and I returned to God and his first love, to my first love and and true enough I was chosen to have to be given mercy once again. And what a privilege. Grabe, kaya nga nung, grabe yung pagmamahal ni Lord sa akin na tinanggap pa rin niya ako. Iyak po ako ng iyak, ano? Nung three years na nag-backslide ako na nung balik ako kay Lord. Tapos, sabi niyo nga kay Lord, Lord, bibigay ko yung buhay ko sa inyo. Lord, bahala na kayo. Kaya nga siguro naging uh, 
Pastor Puaco, church planter, evangelist, because I guess there's a call of God in my life because He chose me. His will is for me to be saved and He chose me and called me to be part of His kingdom and to be used by Him in a greater way. So what a privilege. I'm forever grateful. And because of that, uh, all the service that I'm doing, it's not for me to count for all my good works. It's basically the gratefulness and the love that Jesus has for me. Can you say amen? In Romans chapter 9, verse 23 to 26, in order to make his, in order to make known the riches of his glory for vessels of mercy, which he has prepared beforehand for glory, even us whom he has called not only from the Jews only, but also from the, Je- from the Gentiles. As indeed he says in Hosea, those who are not my people, I will call my people. And her who has not beloved, I will call beloved. And in every place where it was said to them, you are not my people there, they will be called sons of the living God. This is an amazing moment in the heart of God, that God also, in His sovereignty, displayed His mercy through faith to grant salvation on us, the Gentiles. It was referred to the Gentiles where God says, the very place where it is said, you are not my people, refers to the Gentiles, they will be called sons of the living God. Alam nyo po, when, when you talk of, when we speak of God's word and, uh, we talk about the word of God, the Bible, there are two kinds of people. Uh, the one is, if you are a Jew, if you're not a Jew, then you're a Gentile. The long classing tao lang po, no? And true enough, if you're a Jew, then you're an Israelite. Alright? And, uh, that's why from, in Genesis, from the time of Abraham to the time of, uh, his sons, Diva Isaac, and uh, Israel, and Moses, and David, and through the time of Jesus, there were the lineage of, you know, the Savior, and God's lineage, which is Israel. He chose Israel. But at this time, he also wanted to share, okay, his love towards the different nations of the world. Kung hindi ka Jew, then you are a Gentile. You're part of the world. Yung po yun. At, pa, at lahat po tayo, parte ng ng Gentiles. We're part of the world, Ikanga. So, it is important here that the Lord displayed His mercy not just for the Jews, but also for the people like us who doesn't know God, alright, who doesn't know exactly who God is, that Romans chapter 9, verse 30 to 33 says, What shall we say then that Gentiles who did not pursue righteousness have attained it, that is a righteousness that is by faith. But that Israel who pursued a law that would lead to righteousness did not succeed in reaching that law. Why the Jews did not succeed, the Israelites? Because they did not pursue it by faith. But as if it were based on works, they have stumbled over the stumbling stone. So what happened was, the very chosen nation of God, they were not able to make it. All right, They miss it. They miss the very promise because the promise has to be made based on faith. And kaya nga dun sa the book of Acts, hindi po ba na, when God says, you'll be my witnesses in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. God's promise is for His salvation to be extended to all nations, to every people group, to all lost people of the world. And that's why, remember, Paul himself, di ba? I th- he thought he was giving God a favor na he was killing all these followers of Christ. But in Acts chapter 9, remember, from Saul he became Paul. Bakit? Because of God's mercy over Paul that he turned the heart of Saul and become Paul and saved him. And because of that, Jesus said that I'm going to use you as an instrument in reaching this Gentile people. And th- that's why he is, he is the apostle to the Gentiles. And so he began to write once again, in Romans chapter 10, 10, verse 9 to 11, But if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, Everyone who believes in Him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing His riches in all who call on Him, for everyone who calls the name of the Lord will be saved. God in His sovereignty, His, God in His sovereignty displayed His mercy through faith to grant salvation on us, the Gentiles. 
The Lord has grafted us in so that we could receive salvation. All peoples, all people group, all nations. And what a privilege that we're part of this mission organization that would, re- that would really reach the nations of the world called every nation. Romans 10 verse 14 to 15 says, How then they call on him in whom they have not believed. Paano daw po sila tatawag kung hindi sila maniniwala? And how are they believe in Him whom they have not heard? Paano sila, okay, paano sila maniniwala kung hindi, hindi nila nalalaman o maririnig yung good news? And how are they to hear without someone preaching to them? Someone has to go and preach the gospel to the Gentiles, to the lost people. And how are they to preach unless they are sent? That's why it's the church who, sent, who would send us. As it, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. Uh, recently, during this pandemic, I received a call from a former teammate in UST where this guy was part of my victory group 10, 11 years ago. I would have my uh, victory group uh, somewhere there in SM uh, Hypermart, just po sa may, uh, mar- uh, sa may East, sa may, sa may East Woodbanda, no? And I remember, uh, we have this victory group, and sinasama niya tong guy na to, who's a businessman, rich guy, and, uh, sometimes he would show up, and sometimes he won't, and so, yeah, so I don't know what happened, so, imagine after 10 years, I received a call from my friend, and says, this guy wanted to meet us, and so we did, through a Zoom video call. And, true enough, so he started to share, and, you know, he was so desperate, he started to cry, and, uh, at the end of his story, para kung nag-attend ng service po, grabe, ang tagal, 1 hour and 15 minutes uh, nagsasalita. Yung pala, ang kailangan niya lang pala, uh, wisdom. So, sa loob-loob ko, wisdom, grabe, sa lahat na sinabi mo. So, alam niyo, nung pinakikinggan ko siya, sa, sa, sa totoo lang, ang kailangan nito, hindi wisdom, ang kailangan nito, si Lord. Kasi naniisip ko, may pandemic tayo, hindi mo problema yung protection, hindi mo problema yung pera, ang daming nawagwala ng trabaho, Wala problema. Talagang wala problema sa pamilya. Ang kailangan niya, wisdom. So, sabi ko, pare, alam mo, sa totoo lang, 10 years. <laughs> what you needed is God Himself who gave Himself for you, who died on the cross, and you're not doing anything about it. And I said, you know what? The Lord is using this for your need. What you need is not wisdom. What you need is salvation that comes from God. And so I started to preach and He gave His life to Christ. And he started to cry like a baby. Grabe, iyak na iyak talaga. And I began to realize, God's mercy is upon that person for 10 long years. He was gone and yet, he was found again because he's a Gentile. And the Lord has displayed his mercy through faith so that the Gentiles will be saved. What is our response? Our response is to go out there and share the mercy of God so that people will have faith and they will receive the great salvation. Can you say amen? Oh, praise God. Kung titignan po natin, di ba yung mga Gentiles po, na gusto ni Lord masay, pero bakit kaya? Kasi nga po, kung titignan po natin yung babasahin natin Romans chapter 9, may issue po kasi na nangyari. Uh, there's a, uh, there's a problem with the Jewish people that they missed the point, they did not pursue it with faith. Why? Because they were stubborn. They were full of pride. They had this unbelief that they thought because of the law that Moses gave them, that's the way for salvation. They really missed when Jesus came to the picture to save them. They missed. That's why they're the ones who killed Christ, isn't it? But the Lord used that. Out of their stubborn heart, God has to shift of granting salvation to them, to the, to the Gentiles, to us. In order that they will be jealous. In order that they will cry out to God so that in their disobedience, God will have mercy on them. Grabe po yung wisdom ni Lord. Hindi po pinabayaan ni Lord yung mga hudyo. So here's the third one. God in His sovereignty have displayed mercy and wisdom to fulfill the promised salvation to the Jews. This time God is saying, Hey look, I'm going to return to you. I've never forgotten you. I have a covenant promise given to the, to the forefathers. God did not turn his back on the nation that he chose to save. 
I had a privilege to go to Israel a couple of years ago. Uh, me batch by batch by batch po, and I was belong to the senior pastor batch, which uh, we were all delighted to be part of that trip. Sobra pong ganda ng Israel. Kung kayo po'y nanunood na ko, in-encourage po. I want to encourage you to go to Israel as one of uh, your goals, alright? Hindi po kayo pwedeng mawala sa mundo pag hindi kayo makapuntang Israel. At least lang, makita nyo talaga, napakaganda po, grabe, yung yung scenery, yung landscape, yung agriculture, yung pangapagkain, yung grabe, to the fact that it's a small nation. Di ba nawala yung, di ba nawala ang state, yung Israel? And then, imagine that. It's because of God's sovereignty and you know what? The glory grab it's amazing. The place is so amazing and they thought it's about the place. It's not about the place. But the glory, but the favor of God and the presence of God in that very place. And I would say, hindi talaga kinalimutan ni Lord yung Israel. God never, never gave up on those who rejected Him, the nation Israel. Kaya nga sabi niya po rito, lest you be wise in your sight, I do not want you to be unaware of this mystery, Romans 11.25. Brothers, a partial hardening has come upon Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. Ginamit po ni Lord yung sitwasyon ng Israel with their hardening of the hearts partially so that God will reach out to the Gentiles. And as the Gentiles would receive salvation, then, ito po yung sinasabi sa verse 28 and 32 na Romans 11, as regards the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. Because they rejected the gospel, they re- rejected Christ, right? But as regards to election, they are beloved for the sake of their fathers. Because God has a covenant promise to their forefathers. For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. It is without repentance. For just as you were at one time disobedient to God, but now you have received mercy because of their disobedience referring to Israel. So that they too have not have now been disobedient in order that by the mercy shown to you, they also might now receive mercy. For God has consigned all to disobedience that He might or He may have mercy on all. Again, because of His sovereign will, the sovereignty of God was displayed with His mercy and with wisdom. Who would ever thought that buti na lang si God full of mercy? Kung siguro tayo yung God, kinalimutan na natin yung mga taong, di ba, lumimot sa atin. Yung mga nag-deny sa atin, yung mga nagalit sa atin, yung mga iniwana tayo sa ere. You know what? God's wisdom and ways are far beyond our human understanding. That's why He deserves all our praise and glory. He has bestowed on us those who are still rejecting God. He has bestowed mercy on those who are rejecting God. Kagaya nga po. Ako nawala po. Ako three years, pero... Si Lord po yung tumanggap. Si Lord po yung nagpakita ng grasya at naawa sa akin. At because of that, Lord, thank you talaga sa buhay na binigay niyo sa akin. God will keep His covenant promise to Israel. He wanted them safe and He will never turn His back on them. Romans chapter 10, verse 11 to 13. At NLT version, New Living Translation. As the scriptures tells, tell us, Anyone who trusts in Him will never be disgraced. Jew and Gentiles are the same in this respect. They have the same Lord who gives generous, generously to all who call on Him. For everyone who calls in the name of the Lord will be saved. So wala nang Gentile, wala nang Jew, everyone tayo, what? He's raising up His church. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. God wanted all peoples, all across the whole spectrum of the world to be saved, whether you're Jews or you're a Gentile. God's sovereign, God's sovereignty displayed His power and mercy and wisdom for salvation to be granted to both Jews and the Gentiles, and we are part of that. Alam niyo po, ito po yung conclusion ni Paul because of the sovereignty of God. Sabi ni Paul dito, because of the great salvation, the great mercy of God, His sovereign power, His sovereign in not just His mercy, but His wisdom on how the Lord maneuver all this. Sabi po ni Paul sa verse 33 to 36, Oh, the depths of the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How amazing you are, Lord, yung depth ng wisdom and riches. Hindi namin maintindihan, Lord. 
Pero Lord, grabe yung unsearchable yung wisdom, yung understanding, yung insight mo. How unsearchable are His judgments and how inscrutable His ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord and who has been His counselor? Or who has given a gift to Him that He might be repaid? Anyone? For from Him and through Him and to Him all are all things to Him be glory forever. Amen. Wow. Friends, we are so grateful. We praise God for the salvation that He has granted us. It's undeserving. Dahil merciful po si Lord. That's why we magnify God and His sovereignty displayed with mercy, power, and wisdom, granting salvation to all people. How many of you today, you're grateful we could praise and shout to God today. Lord, salamat. Grabe na kayo po ang nagbibigay ng salvation. Lord, tenet, salamat na pinili niyo po kami. Hindi po kami pumili sa inyo, pero kayo po ang pumili sa amin. Lord, hindi ka, kami karapat dapat. But because your amazing mercy, your grace, your power, your wisdom, you have chosen us to be saved, to be granted mercy, and receive salvation by faith. Can you say amen? Praise be to our God. We magnify the Lord for who He is. His sovereignty over our lives. Can you say amen? Can we just pray? Thank you, Lord. Lord, marami po salamat sa pag-ibig. Marami po salamat sa Lord na pinili nyo kami, Lord. Maraming salamat sa bawat isa na nakikinig sa amin ngayon. Lord, I just pray that you create in us the great, the gratefulness in our hearts. A heart that will praise and honor you, that would lead us to a deeper walk, surrendering everything to you. Lord, you deserve it. And so here we are, Lord. I just pray for every one of us here that we will see the magnitude, the extent of your love, your mercy, and your grace. Thank you for your power. Thank you for what you're doing. And even today, Lord, we continue to pray for our families who are not yet saved. We continue to pray, Lord God, for, uh, our very place, Lord God, in Estancia, Lord. Yung mga luka, kalapit na mga villages, Lord. Yung mga kilala namin. Yung mga loved ones namin. Yung mga kaibigan namin. Yung mga taong nasa Mandaluyong, nasa San Juan. Yung mga tao sa Pasig. Lord, we just pray that you would use us. And maybe some of us, Lord, here, we're called to go to the nations. May your will be done. Lord, I pray that you bless everyone who's here today. May you create in us the gratefulness of heart and the tenacity, the fire to preach the gospel. Whoever we're talking, if that person is lost, give us the heart for the lost so that your mercy will be granted to them and salvation to the Gentiles, the lost people. Lord, marami po salamat. Thanks for everyone. And Lord, today, if there's any one of us here today, maybe they invite ka, somebody just first time to to watch this online service with us. Uh, you know what? There's no accident moment with God. God is the God of salvation. He wanted you to be saved. And that's why you're here. And I want to lead you to Christ. Can you pray this prayer? Can you just pray this prayer out loud? Say this with me, right? Say this to me and receive Christ as your Lord and Savior for you to be saved. Say this, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I repent and turn to you to be my Lord, my Savior, my deliverer, my forgiver, my friend. Lord, I receive you as my Lord. And Lord, I receive your forgiveness and the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, I bless that person. Thank you for this moment. If that's who you are, please, all right, message us here in our chat box and we're gonna get back to you. And so, marami, marami po salamat. Marami salamat, Pastor JC. Marami po salamat, salamat sa mga nanunod ngayon. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord face shine upon you. God bless you all. Thank you so much.